Hello and welcome back. There was an era where while making a telephone call over distance places, one had to put his mouth very close to the transmitter, speak very slowly and very loudly so that message can be heard clearly by the person at the other end. Today, we can even make video calls over worldwide with high quality resolutions, right? The secret of such tremendous development of technology lies in electrical filter theory and transmission line theory. Electrical filters, as you might know, are circuits that pass only selected band of frequencies while attenuating other unwanted frequencies. One of such filters is high pass filter. If you are already familiar with the concept of low pass filter, this course will be easy for you to understand. So let's begin. A high pass filter is a filter which passes high frequency signals and blocks or impedes low frequency signals. In other words, high frequency signals go through much easier and low frequency signals have a much harder getting through, which is why it's a high pass filter. High pass filters can be constructed using resistors, with either capacitors or inductors. A high pass filter composed of a resistor and a capacitor is called a high pass RC filter, and a high pass filter with a resistor and an inductor is called a high pass or L filter. We will go through both of these type of circuits and show how both RC and RL high pass filters are constructed. Both circuits have the effect of passing through high frequency signals while impeding low frequency ones. So I say let's start by discussing about high pass RC filter. A high pass RC filter again is a filter which passes through high frequency signals composed of a resistor and a capacitor. To create a high pass RC filter, the capacitor is placed in series with the power signal entering the circuit, such as shown in this circuit diagram. As a capacitor is a reactive device, it offers differing resistance to signals of different frequencies entering through it. A capacitor is a reactive device which offers very high resistance to low frequency or DC signals and low resistance to high frequency signals. So because capacitors offer very high resistance to low frequency or DC signals, it means that the signal trying to pass through it will be blocked. So this type of filter only allows high frequency signals to pass through and not DC. This type of capacitor also functions as a coupling capacitor because it couples the AC signal from one part of the circuit to another while blocking the DC. There are a lot of circuits in which coupling capacitors are present, so if you don't quite understand the function of a coupling capacitor, don't worry because we will shortly discuss about it in more details. High pass filters are very common and are used in many type of circuit setups. One such circuit in which they are used are in microphone circuits. Microphones are devices which need both DC and AC signals in order to work. Microphones need DC power in order to have the power to turn on and be able to operate and they record AC signals such as human speech, music or noises, right? As a result, they deal with both type of signals, right? The DC is only needed to power the microphone on and should not appear on the output with the AC signal. The DC is for power only and should not be mixed with the audio signal. So to pass the AC signal through and block the DC, we use a high pass filter so that only the AC signal appears on the output. Now that we have gone through what a high pass filter is, let's go over a practical example and build one. To build a high pass filter, the components we will use are a function generator, a 10 nanofarad ceramic capacitor, and a 100 ohm resistor. So, the formula to calculate the frequency of an RC circuit is this one here. And by doing the math, we get a frequency of 159 Hz. Therefore, this RC circuit will pass frequencies above 159 Hz with barely no attenuation. Frequencies below 
159 Hz will be attenuated. The further away and lower it is from uh, 159 Hz, the greater the output signal is attenuated. So, if we input an AC signal into the circuit from the function generator and place the signal to a very low frequency such as 100 Hz or so, the capacitor will block out this voltage signal and it will not go through the output or be greatly attenuated. You can check this if you have an oscilloscope. If you now increase the frequency of the signal to 20 kHz, the signal will go through unimpeded, not being blocked at all. The capacitor will have no effect and all high frequency signals pass through unimpeded without any attenuation. This is a diagram showing what happens to low and high frequencies when fed into this high pass filter. The low frequency signals, which are near 0 Hz, are blocked and do not go past the capacitor. Therefore, these signals do not show up at the output. On the other hand, the high frequency signals go through unimpeded and pass to output. And this is why it's a high pass filter. It passes through high frequencies, but block low frequencies.